Amazing Armadillos for our Daily Read Aloud, and this is by Lisa Trumbauer, and it's illustrated by James Mraprick. Oh, look, and it's got the chapters and the table of contents all ready for us. How Armadillos Came to Be This legend is so old that no one knows exactly who told it first. It was told to explain how armadillos came to be. Many years ago, before there were armadillos, two people were not acting the way they should. They made fun of others. They tricked people. They disobeyed their elders. We're so clever, said the first. The others are just jealous, said the second. They never have any fun. It went on this way for many days. Everyone was annoyed with the two tricksters. The leader of the people was very much annoyed with them. Never in my entire life have I seen such pranksters, he roared. One day, the leader was more angry than usual. The two tricksters had cheated during a race. They had broken rules in order to win. I must teach them a lesson, the leader said. The leader sent the tricksters a serious message. I wish to speak to everyone. Come to a meeting. Come to the meeting place at once. Your leader. All of the people in the universe read the message. They hurried to the meeting place to see what he would converse about. It was not wise to anger their leader. The two tricksters were the last to arrive. Of course they wanted to skip the meeting. They were not happy about being there. Who does the leader think he is, one grumbled. I don't like to be sent for, said the other. By the time the tricksters got to the meeting, the only seat left was a stone bench. So they sat on it and whispered to each other about what trouble they would cause next. Trouble found them first. The benches they were sitting on began to shake. Then they began to move around. The two tricksters were not sitting on stone, but on two live creatures. The two creatures were frightened. They leapt into the air, and the two tricksters rolled onto the ground, and they landed at the feet of the leader. Now that is a funny trick, said the leader. He laughed loudly, and everyone else laughed too. The two who misbehaved were so embarrassed that they never caused trouble again. The two creatures were called armadillos, and they remained in the village from that day on. Meet the armadillo. Once you see an armadillo, you will be able to understand the legend better. An armadillo looks like a stone carving. It looks this way because its skin is hard like armor. Almost the entire body of the armadillo is covered with hard skin. This bony shell is called a carapace. Spanish explorers gave the armadillo its name. They thought the armadillo skin looked like their own armor. In Spanish, armadillo means little armored one. Scientists believe that armadillos were on Earth many years before Spanish explorers discovered them. They may have lived 55 million years ago. They may even be related to dinosaurs. The armadillo's carapace is not one solid shell like a turtle's or snail's. In the middle are nine bands. The bands are joined with skin. This allows the armadillo to bend its body and move easily. And then we can see, because this is a nonfiction text, some labels on this picture. So it says a glyptodont, which I'm guessing is the original armadillo, and then the current armadillo. An armadillo has a long face with a long snout. It uses its snout to sniff around on the ground for things to eat. The armadillo has a keen sense of smell, which helps it find food. The armadillo likes to eat beetles and ants. It also eats worms and frogs. It will even eat roots and dirt. The armadillo uses its long tongue to grab food. With all this eating, you'd think the armadillo would be a huge animal. It's not. It grows to be about two and a half feet long and weighs up to 15 pounds. So it's kind of like a cat, but about the same size. Armadillos use their claws to dig at home. Armadillos live underground in his home, which is called a burrow. To start its burrow, the armadillo digs a tunnel about 10 to 15 feet long. When the tunnel is long enough, the armadillo digs a room at the end. This becomes the armadillo's nest. The armadillo lines its nest with grass and leaves. It does so in an unusual way. The armadillo holds the grass and leaves it in its front paws. Then it hops backwards into the nest, pulling the grass and leaves with it. An armadillo may dig several burrows. The extra ones are places to escape to, in case the armadillo gets into trouble. Some animals can roll into a ball or sphere to protect themselves. The armadillo can't do this. If it needs to escape, it will simply try to run away. If this doesn't work, it will try to look big and scary. If it stands on its back legs and sways back and forth to get out of danger, the armadillo can also dig very quickly or scratch its enemy with its claws. Baby armadillos are born in burrows. These babies are called pups. Pups are born four at a time. They are either all male or all female. So that means that when they're born, they can't be like two boys and two girls. They have to be, all four have to either be four boys or four girls. 
An armadillo is a mammal, so the babies drink milk from their mother. A new pup's carapace is soft and pink. It eventually hardens and turns brown or gray. After two or three months, baby armadillos are ready to live on their own. An armadillo can live up to 10 years in the wild. Do you know that armadillos can swim? They often avoid predators by swimming away. First, the armadillo takes big breaths to fill its stomach with air. This makes the armadillo float. Then the armadillo prattles across the water. An armadillo can walk underwater too. It holds one big breath and begins to sink. When it reaches the bottom, it starts walking. An armadillo can hold its breath for as long as eight minutes. Armadillos today. In the 1800s, armadillos started moving north from South America. They moved across the North American continent and they traveled from Mexico through Texas and then up to Kansas and Missouri. Eventually, they got as far east as Florida. No one knows, no one is sure why armadillos migrated or moved to a new place. Scientists think they may have gotten lost while looking for food. Unable to find their way homeward, they dug burrows right where they were. This map shows where armadillos can be found today. Armadillos live in the area from northern South America throughout Central America and Mexico and into the southern United States. It's hard to believe that 200 years ago, no armadillos lived in the United States at all. So you can see that there are armadillos where it's gray on this map and just a tiny little bit in the southern part of South Carolina where we live, our state, you can find armadillos. Today, the wildlife in the United States includes the armadillo. In Texas, it is an honored animal. Students at Texas Elementary School wanted their state to have a state mammal. After all, they thought Texas has a state bird, so they suggested the armadillo, and everyone agreed. Or sorry, but not everyone agreed. After three years of arguing about it, the students finally won. Today, the armadillo is the official small mammal of Texas. The little armored one is a true survivor. All right, guys, I'm going to put these response questions in the description box below for your reading work today. You can think about them, talk about them, or write about them, whichever you would prefer. And I'll see you guys in the next read aloud. Bye.